and welcome to another Gearheads Garage production. In today's video, we do the wiring on this build. We fix a few minor flaws and a few designs that I had since last video on here, as well as we build the front bumper that's going to be going on the front of this build. So, let's get to it. Alright, so guys, last upload that I did of this thing, uh, we did brake lines, uh, ca uh, throttle cable lines, um, and kill switch. Well, it's about time to, uh, do wiring for the lights. Now, if you can already tell, I have already put some lights on here. I was originally going to throw some uh, old school style KC lights on this. See, I have some old style KC lights over here. But I actually bought these off of a coworker. And so, with the yellow lens, I think it's going to fit the rat rod vibe pretty well, which is kind of what I'm going for. But, um,. That as well as I have got some genuine Peterbilt 18-wheeler um, uh, tail lights in the back. And I have, I've done a lot of work on this off camera, mainly because I forgot to film it and I was busy. But at any rate, I have got a piece of angle iron, uh, which is actually part of a bed frame that uh, was donated to me by a family member so uh props on that but um we have our tail lights uh solid mounted right here and i use the same angle iron for up front so uh yeah we uh got to get to wiring these bad boys and uh making them work for when the engine is running um, it's not going to work where the engine is not running because I'm not the this has a charging system But I'm not going to be running the charging system to a remote battery. It's just going to be going straight to the lights um, So with that being said and also I was uh, Doing a few rips down the neighborhood uh, here earlier today and um a few neighbors were uh, outside doing, you know, whatever have you. And <laughs> this thing catches some looks. And uh, one guy even took a picture and said, This is going on Facebook, Jack. I'm like, Do it. I don't care. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it, it, it grabbed attention, which, I mean, it's loud as can be. So, you know, why wouldn't it? But. <laughs> It's awesome, but I have noticed one flaw, which I knew this was going to happen, but I didn't think it was going to happen this fast. But um, as you can see, my uh, brake lever uh, stop kind of, well, fell off. <laughs> which, like I say, I knew that was going to happen, so now... Um, I have come to the conclusion of either I'm going to possibly weld a piece onto the side of here and call it a day, or I'm going to have to figure out some sort of method behind something else, because that obviously did not work. So, 
there's that. Um, but uh, yeah, enough of me yapping. Let's get to doing some wiring. All right, so guys, it is a little bit later on, and I have to tell you, filming and doing stuff like this tend to not go very well, except especially when you're doing something completely custom because like every five minutes you're working on this thing you're like okay well that's done now how am I going to tie in this to that or that into that or that into the third and you just you, you have to go by ear on a lot of things you just have to figure stuff out as you go that being said I have gotten the two front lights uh, tied in to one circuit uh, for the power in the ground those are both going to be two separate circuits I'm sorry I said one uh, well basically this light is tied in with this light is what I meant by that so you have your positive cable and then over here is your ground cable or your ground wire now my ground is going to run all the way back to here on the sh on the cart which i'm also going to have these two tied in which i have not done yet but i'm going to tie them two in together and run that harness straight underneath the axle and just do it that way i'm going to run the ground i'm going to tap the ground into the wire that comes from the the front lights all the way so that these will all be in uniform and um then i will then tie that into the charging system on the cart now as far as the power circuit goes the power circuit is pretty much going to take the same route but the cir the the the, po the positive uh, circuit is basically going to run all down the wiring harness, and I have this uh, switch. Well, that is an on-off switch, and um, I'm going to go into one line. I'm going to tie all these four lights into one wire. I'll turn that one wire into that, and then it'll you know flow through the switch so I can cut it on and off into the second wire and then I'll run the second wire all the way to the opposite wire on the charging system if that makes any sense <laughs> it makes sense in my mind now we just got to put it in the paper and put it on the ground and we'll see how it works and if it don't work mint <laughs> But uh, hopefully this all works. It should. There is no reason why it shouldn't. Alright, so guys, it is currently about 10 o'clock at night. As you can see, it is dark out. It's been dark out for probably the past hour and a half. Um, but I have been busting away and trying to get this wiring done as fast as I can now that I know kind of the approach that I'm going at. If all is hooked up right, we should have front and rear lights. So we are fixing to fire this bad boy up and see if my theory is correct. So I've cut all the lights off, minus in the shop, and they work, but the lights are a lot dimmer than I thought they were going to be. And that's just because the engine doesn't produce enough power to really light them up. But, as you can tell, they do work. And, granted, I was testing these off of a 20-volt drill battery. So, obviously, these things were really bright. And I wasn't expecting them to be this dark. But, um... I was thinking about having to put some duct tape over this, but honestly, I'm going to keep them the way they are. So, uh, yep, there's that. 
Man, them front ones look freaking cool. I just wish they were a lot brighter. Yeah, I got the uh, tabs welded on to the uh, frame there, and I've got the bumper sitting right here in the shop. I've got uh, my two tabs welded on that, which is going to simply bolt on to there. And, um, well, I'm going to uh, drill a whole bunch of holes in here, and we are going to be putting spark plugs into it which is going to be interesting <laughs> i've seen it done on several other rat rods and i want to incorporate on this one that's why i kind of have my collection over there all right so guys it's real rough but um i am about halfway through on the bumper and i found this old license plate at the junkyard thought well it'd be cool right in the center of it so um i've got six spark plugs on this side now i've just got to drill six holes and do the other side but uh, i think i'm going to let this cool down since i've put a lot of heat with the welder into this side i'll we'll let it cool down go eat supper and then start on the next side All right, so guys, there it is, all finished up. That side right there is a little hot from where I just welded it. Fortunately, I couldn't get any footage of welding it because, um, well, phone battery dying sucks. So um, it is what it is, but it is all finished up. Now, time to go put it on the shopping rod. All right, guys. Almost four years ago, I got this thing as just a shopping cart. And with it being put on the back burner for about the past three years with me slowly collecting parts for it, I can finally say that this uh, project has uh, pretty much come to a close. Um, it has came out far better than I thought it was going to be because I thought it was just going to be a basket case it was going to be rough it still is rough but that's the whole rat rod feel of it which is what I was going for um, but this project has been interesting it uh, has been the first one of hopefully many to come and uh, well not bad. I did end up just leaving the exhaust like it was just because I like the rough cut look of it. But um, <laughs> a lot a lot of work has gone into this build. But um, I can finally say that um, she is finished. Alright, so after that real short rip, we are back into the shop. But the reason why you uh, see me only taking getting, like really short rips is because the the road that I usually ride on, it's smooth-ish, except if you're riding in this. Because <laughs> this thing, you feel everything. 
and it is not smooth at all. Um, so I'm going to be making another video here very soon. I'm going to take this thing to a very smooth parking lot that I know of right down the road. Um, which has plenty of real estate and plenty of room for me to just rip the Hulk snot out of this thing. Because that's what I want to do. I really want to, you know, really ride this thing and well, see what it'll do more or less. But, uh, yeah, that, um, that's going to be about it for this upload. Um, I can't, in a way, I can't believe that I'm actually standing in front or behind this thing actually complete. Um, there are one or two things that I need to do. Uh, AKA I need to stiffen up that front bumper because the hardware that I built the supports out of are way too weak. And if I hit enough bumps, that thing will just start bumping and sagging and sagging and I have to lift it back up. But no, that ain't no big deal. That's an easy fix. Um, the other one is I have got to find some kind of padding for my the backrest on this thing. Because especially with the bumps on the road, that thing kills my back. But, like I say, that's minor as well. Um, I, need, I do need to fix the pull start because it is a little messed up. But it does crank it over still. Um, but other than that, it's, it's solid. So, um... Yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more builds like this in the future, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do plan on uh, building a few more rat rod style builds uh, here in the future. I just don't know when. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more, and uh, we'll catch y'all next time.